We got the Mnuchin headline uh, that we're talking about. Pretty good guidance out of hardcore industrials like Eden and Cummins. And that's drawing interest uh, even as we are trying to see if the last few days of trouble for tech can come to an end. Yeah, I think in general this market has been extremely resilient. We're ending July up about 3%. And I think after the S&P being up nine years in a row and having a big year last year, being up 5 or 6% this year is pretty good, especially in light of all the headline risks that we've been uh, talking about. So, Liz, I can't get a straight answer, Lizanne, on technology. Is this the opportunity of a lifetime to buy some of these stocks on sale, or is there a complete rethink of this entire trade? Um, I, I think it's too soon for any of us to know for sure. I would. I, I think it probably it represents a consolidation phase like this sector has gone through many times in this bull market. If you look at some of the technicals, it's, it's not taking out some of the prior support levels. I don't know that I would consider it the buying opportunity of a lifetime. I do think you are starting to see value players come into the market, clearly not into the technology space, but you've seen a pretty significant pickup by value overgrowth in the last few days. And because momentum broadly has been a characteristic that has been most rewarded, if that momentum shifts and finds its way into the more value-oriented places, it could take a little longer before it kind of tech finds that correction bottom. Yeah, Keith, I mean, Bob Bazzani pointed out we've had a few fake outs on that front before in this bull market where Everyone says it's finally time for value to shine over growth, and then the growth trade resumes, and those tech darlings are in demand. Is this time different? And are some of those tech stocks now looking like a good value with Facebook trading at 23 times next year's earnings? Yeah, I think, again, in context, uh, even with this 5% correction in tech, it's still tied for the best sector year to date. It's also trounced the S&P since this bull market began. But I would say short term, I do agree with Lizanne that uh, it's more likely to consolidate. I do think there's going to be better areas of the market short term to invest in, whether that be financials. You talked about industrials earlier. If we have any positive news on the uh, tariff side, I think there's still upside there. Energy is acting great. Those are more value type sectors. So I do think that some of this rotation we've seen recently is likely to continue, at least in the near term. But, Keith, to your earlier point about being happy with 5 percent year to date, you think the market is, is sort of tapped out here in terms of further gains for the year? No, I don't think we're tapped out at all. I think it's, it is a, a midterm election year. It, it tends to be choppy. The, the fourth quarter is where we tend to see most of the gains. But in general, I think we've held in there really well. We're looking at revenue growth this quarter above 9 percent. That's the best since 2011. So I think this rotation is actually healthy to kind of broaden out the market. And I think other parts of the market, like financials, like industrials, will pick up some of the slack from technology. Uh, that, uh, to his point, uh, Lizanne, 99 days until uh, the midterms. President tweeting a lot this morning about collusion not being a crime. Do you think midterms are going to uh, affect the way we trade in the next uh, three months? I, I, I do think so. Now, what we don't know yet is whether the 10 percent plus correction that we got concentrated in February was sufficient to be that midterm corrective phase. The average midterm drawdown is 17 percent. That's going back in the post-World War II period. Uh, it tends to be concentrated in the summer months. From the trough of those midterm corrections, the subsequent one-year return, not next calendar year, but from those troughs whenever they occurred, is more than 30 percent. Now, the pattern doesn't repeat itself perfectly, of course, or this would be an easy trading game. But um, I do think that there could be more volatility leading into uh, the midterm. And unless we're completely rewriting history to the extent we got that and a bit more of a drawdown, the chances that we get a lift once the uncertainty with regard to the midterms is past us, it wouldn't surprise me.